Hi, welcome to another tutorial from TDCAT. Today we're looking at the WordPress admin panel and uh, that's what you see here. Uh, we just launched a new site literally last week, I think it was. And uh, obviously we've been playing around a lot in WordPress. We've built the site uh, using WordPress as a vast number of sites on the, uh, on the internet today are. And it seems to be something that bugs people is this at the top here. It's the fact it says howdy. That seems to bother people, and it does bother me as well. So uh, I thought, well, I might as well do a quick tutorial on how to change that. It's dead straightforward, and there are a couple of ways you can do it, as with many things such as this. Uh, there are a few ways around it. But uh, first of all, what we're going to do is log into the server where the site is hosted. And what we need to find out is where that text is basically we need to find out the file that contains that text and of course if you're using a, um, uh, a Linux based server such as this is of course the uh, great command grep which if we just do um, a simple string like this and put the comma in there just to make it a little bit more unique and uh, and then we just want to look at the public HTML directory so that basically just says um, have a look recursively for howdy comma in everything from public HTML downwards, basically include all subfolders, obviously recursively. So there we go. And it does it very quickly and finds just one. And uh, this is the line within the file. This is the actual uh, text within the file. And this is the, uh, the file uh, that includes that. So it's in WP includes admin bar .php, which makes sense really, because it is the admin bar at the top of the screen. So what we can do is we can either go into that directory and just have a look at that file and then just do a control W to uh, do a search. This is within uh, within Nano. So uh, sorry for the, all the haters who will uh, come back here and say, oh, why aren't you using BI or something like that? I don't know whether that still exists today um, but uh, 10 years ago it used to be a big thing where if you went into any other text editor editor apart from vi people would just be like oh my god you can't use a compute properly which um is obviously complete rubbish because uh, it does the job i need to do so um and uh, i find, find it simple to use so anyway it's a bit off the point so what we're going to look for is howdy and there we go so we can see here that it's putting howdy and then a variable which is the current user so obviously, it's, you know, it would say um, howdy and then your name. So all we need to do is change this text to say welcome, which I think is a lot more sophisticated. So we just uh, control X and then do we want to save it? Hit Y and then hit enter. And that's it, really. Uh, but of course, not everybody's got a uh, text editor uh, like, um, and access to the server like that when they're doing using WordPress sites. But I've just done a refresh there and you can see that's now changed to say welcome instead of howdy. But of course, you can use a uh, an FTP client. So uh, if you now you know what the file is that you need to change, if we log onto the site using uh, FTP um, and go into here and go into WP includes and then get the admin bar, we can download that. If we download it to the desktop quickly, then you end up with the file there, which I'll edit. And you can do exactly the same thing in here. So if we just do a quick find, howdy. And uh, there, there's well, it obviously says welcome now because we changed it to welcome. But uh, you can just save that, save that file, make the edit, save that file refresh and upload it to the server and that's it so i'm assuming you have one one method of those two to be able to do this and to be honest the majority of people who are looking to do this probably will be able to figure this out for themselves but the reason i did this is because i was looking around on it and i just sort of spotted the fact that there are actually plugins to do this which is very strange because I mean you can update your theme and uh, admittedly if you update WordPress it might mess it up but you know who cares it's what takes 30 seconds to do it so um, anyway there we go <laughs> that's, that's all there is to it so it's the admin hyphen bar dot php in the wp includes folder hope that's useful see you soon